I promised Shed we'd go to downtown Gale. It's the county seat of Barton County, but there's no gas station, no grocery store, no doctors, no lawyers, thank goodness, no movie theater, only the courthouse, post office, and the high school, which is everything coyote. The mascot and the number one resident for miles is a coyote. In fact, the Coyote Cafe and store is the only place to grab a bite to eat for miles around. Just let me have a regular cheeseburger cut to onions. It was here where I had an idea. Instead of calling and fighting a 50 mile an hour wind, I thought about my old friend, J. Martin Basinger. J. Martin is a legendary houndsman and a world-class cat hunter. Few people have chased more animals than J. Martin Basinger. But, as luck would have it, he was able to put us on his schedule for the next morning. Race is on. Cat hunting is way, way ahead of cow calling. I've been around, I've hunted lion, bear, and deer, elk, whatever, hogs, but uh, I'd rather cat hunt than, than anything I've done. When he dropped that tailgate right before it was getting daylight and them dogs took off, you know, you got that window down, you got your ears sticking out, you're going, when's it going to happen? You're just waiting for those dogs to strike, because when they do, it's going to get good. This is good, good cat country. At seven to eight years young, he knows the voices and temperaments of each animal. He's listening for a dog to hit a track. They struck, they struck a cat. When Jay Martin slammed on them brakes, I think I about slammed into the back of his seat. These dogs are treed right here. I'm watching his face for that look that says, grab your stuff, let's roll. These dogs right here, they're showing them treed. Right here, they're showing 790 yards. We took off, and I look up, Jay Martin's ahead of me and he's got 50 years on me almost. Whenever I hear those dogs running, I never feel like I'm 78 years old. I, I'd be more like 25. I can get to those dogs as quick as anybody. I'm in a hurry to get there because sometimes I have dogs that'll climb and I want to get those dogs out of those trees. That's a pretty good sound there. Yeah, it is. I was afraid the cat was going to be in the, you know, bait up in a hole or in the rocks because around these ledges and uh, we got right down to the edge and peeked around the corner and there's that cat sitting right out there over top of that water. Them dogs can't get to him. <laughs> He'd be swimming. No, he's not far off those dogs. Look at him. Uh, they look at him. He's just right there looking at him. Oh, those dogs are really, really giving him fits, aren't they? Man, that is the neatest, that's the neatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Do we got to worry about him jumping out, or can we get no, go right no, around? No, uh, Dustin, that cat's not going to jump out. Those dogs under there, he's not going to jump out. But we're going to need to go back around where we can get over here on this other side, where we can get a little better shot at him. Okay. It's chaotic. With the dogs barking, we're trying to figure out how to get Shed set up on this bobcat. Yeah, this is going to work. I'm excited as a kid that had just seen the first cat in his life. I just can't believe he just don't bail out and take off. I, I think he's a little concerned about nine hit a dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's noisy. Dogs are going nuts. It's chaotic. We're 12 feet from this cat in the tree. And that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen because the cat is not paying any attention to us. He's worried about them hounds and he's just sitting right there on that limb. Oh, jeez. All right, let me get him before he gets down there. Get out of that water. Get there, Dustin, before he gets some water. I bail off. I got, I think, nine, nine hounds down there going nuts on top of this cat. I'm in amongst them. One of them bit me in the leg. I'm trying to grab the cat. So I get the cat, I get spun around, I'm on a rock, and the hounds kind of jump on me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Hey! I think really they sent me down over there for their amusement because they knew what was going to happen and I knew what was going to happen when I got close to that water. I thought I need to get out of here pretty quick because it was cold and I didn't want to go under. There's nothing worse looking than a drowned out cat, but he'll look good once we get him mounted and he's in Shed's house. 
Shit! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. Well, Dustin, you wanted a cat. Well, we got one. You got a cat in a, ba in a baptism all the same Sunday morning. <laughs> to me, it was an honor. You know, to be able to shoot a bobcat off his dog. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I mean, how many folks get to see that? Right right. That don't happen very often. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is kind of Goodbye. this is kind of a, a dying breed, I guess. Goodbye. An old true cat. <laughs> that was one great cat hunt. We'll be talking about that one for years. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I have plenty of good hunts ahead of me, and uh, I'm going to do it as long as I can get to the tree. And as long as I can get to the tree, I'm, I'm going to run these dogs.